On uh, Kenny Veach's final hike, uh, I don't want to rule this out because uh, uh, the one thing is that uh, I wasn't in his head. I don't know what he did, but I lean towards that if a person's suicidal, they don't go far. Uh, you know, to go out north into oblivion, a uh, totally separate area. No, they, they tend to stay close to home or up at a favorite place. So true, he could have done it. He could have done it. I don't know. That's the problem. And that's why it's, you know, almost hopeless. But uh, to just keep going north, out into the middle of no place, who would do that if uh, killing themselves? And so uh, the point is that as far as this area here, and now I lean towards more higher up that uh, he put the cell phone there. I now think he put the cell phone there. And it could have been a marker, you know, that he was going up or whatever. But would he have went up and went down and did this thing with a backpack with sleeping bags and pads uh, to go forever uh, 20 30 miles into the distance which is quite quite easy you could you could easily do that by the way don't think you can't because you can if you just go in a straight line but um, i still lean towards this area but i lean towards it in a different mindset than what i had that he was just going on a normal hike and he went up, did pine nuts and went up here, he got cold, he got cold, worked his way down in the middle of the night. Okay, it's not like that couldn't be true, it most certainly could, but uh, I still lean towards, if you were truly going to, you know, not necessarily kill yourself, but be on a final hike that he, he would not have went past this point and out into oblivion out into oblivion that he, you know, could have said, fuck it, you know, I'm going to go up high, I'm just going to keep going and hike, be along here. And the problem is that I just don't know. And nobody does. Nobody does. But I still lean strongly, uh, such as with Brian Laundrie, that I predicted he, he did not go far, that he would be within a quarter mile of the car, which he was, which he was. Uh, so with Kenny Veach, I don't know. I do not know what was inside that guy's brain. I just don't. But this area, you know, should be checked out. And there's also the element that, um, like I keep saying, okay, he could be anywhere. He could be anywhere, okay, right? But you can't search there. And so the logical thing to do is go to, you know, the most logical area. And if he's not here, um, if he's not in here, and why would he be working down? If it was suicide, why would he be working down in the middle of the night? No, he could be up there where I spent the night up there, his favorite, favorite area, the MK, or the cell phone mine. I spent the night up there. So this is a prime area. And... It, if he did just go forever, well, you can't search it. So there's no logical other choice except to look where he, you know, that he might be. And the people have gone up there. They go up the ravines, but nobody has gone up there and done a search like to look up the hillsides if he fell or something like that. But the problem is that if a suicide hike the odds are now decreasing. It was like work down in the middle of the night. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm going to work down in the moonlight. And a fall occurred. So that's it. That's it. I don't know what else to say. Except that um, if, he's, if he's not in an area that can be searched, then you cannot look all over the entire desert.